Hey guys, Mark here from Promix Academy with another Logic Pro tutorial. In this video, we're going to be creating a basic level mix using Logic's Mixer. But before we get into that, please do make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're alerted every time we release a new video. Also, if you find the video useful, please do give us a thumbs up and let us know what you think in the comments. So you might be partway through recording, uh, looking to balance your levels a little bit before we continue recording. Uh, or as in my case, you might have a fully recorded track, uh, track um, ready for mixing. Either way, the first thing we need to do is bring up the mixer. There's a couple of ways you can do this. You can use the mixing icon at the top left here, which will bring up the mixer in the bottom half of your screen. Personally, it's not my favorite view. It's quite limited in its, uh, in its arrangement. Um, I like to use the second option, which is to use the shortcut Command 2. This will bring it up in a completely different window. And I also like to um, stick this on a different desktop just to give us more readily available access to it. Another thing that I like to do is to color code my tracks. Um, this is pretty standard practice and really advisable. Um, it just helps you to visualize where we are in the mixer that much more easily um, than when everything is just one single color. So here we have a group of percussions. I'm going to use um, option C to bring up my color picker and I'm going to make my percussions red. I'm going to group my guitars and make those Let's make them a nice blue. Then I've got some keys and some strings, which I will make purple. And finally, we've got my vocals, which I will make a pink. Okay, so I think we're ready to start um, adjusting some levels. Um, what I've got on the other page is uh, I've enabled cycle mode which will just loop that section of the track um, until we tell it otherwise. Um, I've got this sitting over a verse and a chorus, just to give us an idea of the dynamic range uh, that we're dealing with. Um, I'm going to let it play once through without touching anything. And once I get a feel for where things should go, we'll start adjusting some levels on the fader in the mixer. Let's go. Overthinking Everything you say and do Though you realize That deep down your thoughts ain't true A devil whispering in your ear The only feeling that you fear So wipe your tears, get out the dark And always remember There are more of us Hiding in the shadows There are more of us Hoping for a better tomorrow Looking high when we are low There are more of us than Overthinking Everything you say and do Though you realize That deep down your thoughts ain't true A devil whispering in your ear The only feeling that you fear So wipe your tears, get out the dark And always remember Looking high when we are low There are more of us than Overthinking Everything you say and do Though you realize That deep down your thoughts ain't true A devil whispering in your ear The only feeling that you fear So wipe your tears, get out the dark And always remember Looking high when we are low, there are more of us than... Okay, so I think um, 
already this is sounding much better. These these tracks have obviously been really well recorded. Um, <clears throat> Just looking at the levels on each of them, the only thing I'm noticing that's jumping out a little bit is my acoustic guitars are noticeably quieter than the rest of the tracks. So I've had to pull down the vocals quite a bit because they were coming in quite hot. Um, I had to pull down the reverse cymbals quite a lot because they were also quite hot. Uh, we haven't reached any tambourine yet, so we'll see what happens uh, later on in the mix. The snaps, the finger clicks were also pretty loud and likewise we haven't had any snares yet so we'll see where they uh, fit into the balancing a little bit later on uh, perhaps in another video um, so it's really just this acoustic guitar I, I kind of want more of it was sort of hovering it around maybe minus 30 at the most minus 24 db there's a really easy way to to bring that up a little bit um, I'd, ideally I'd like that sitting at around say between minus 15 and minus 12 I'm going to go over to my other window. If we click on region, I'm going to go to this gain setting here, double click it, and I'm gonna add on, let's say to start with 10 decibels. And let's see what that does in our mix. Yeah, I think that's a much better level to work with. Um, it's not sitting too high, uh, it's not too low, um, and it seems to just bring all of the rest of the mix together. Um, so you can see uh, uh, the, the power of a simple balance in your, in your mixer. Um, we haven't done much at all, we've just pulled a few things up and taken a few things down and already we've got an, an all right sounding mix. There's not much I'd change. I think obviously as the track develops, um, dynamics will increase and decrease and you know we'll, we'll deal with that when it comes, perhaps for another video. Um, but as a starting point, I think this is sounding good. Cool, so that's our basic level mix using the uh, faders in the mixer window. If you found this video helpful, please do give us a thumbs up, hit that bell, subscribe, drop us a comment. Uh, you'll find some freebies in the description if you wanna take this more seriously check out the Pro Mix Academy details to follow.